it's Denver Black with Soilcraft. I just wanted to spend a few minutes to talk to you guys about a fall soil primer. So we're out here today in a grass field with these little seedlings. So we can see we've done our in-furrow on this beautiful grass. We've got beautiful roots growing. But what, we, what we've got here is a whole bunch of small plants, right? And a bunch of soil that's been recently worked. And so what, why are we talking about a soil primer? What is a soil primer? We like to think of a soil primer basically as kind of a an economic stimulus, right, for the soil. We like to put down some some fish, molasses, uh, you know, some other biostimulants, as well as nutrients like phosphorus and calcium that really help to not only bolster the root system of these plants as they go into winter, which increases winter hardiness, but also to increase our biological activity. There's a couple reasons for that. One, because we know more biological activity, more mineralization, which means we're gonna have more trace element, nutrients in our plants, more calcium, phosphate, things like that. But also because it increases uh, the biological activity while these plants are small and, and it allows them to hold nutrients like nitrogen in, in biological form so that they're available and, and in that soil economy, but they're not prone to leaching and they're not prone to volatilization. So really what we're doing is we're bolstering our, our network, right? We're, we're increasing our network, we're increasing our soil biology, we're, we're increasing bio, bacterial and fungal growth in the soil so that when things thaw in the spring and, and we're ready for that crop to really start growing, we have a really good underground economy ready and booming to support our growing crop, which will provide healthier, more resilient crops and better return on investment. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about this. Please reach out, talk to us about what, how we do it, what we do it through center pivot irrigation or through stream bars with, with sprayers, etc. It's really flexible and we're seeing incredible results. Every spring afterwards, my earthworm casting counts are up and we're seeing healthier crops that are more vigorous in the spring and more resistant to disease. Thanks so much, and uh, feel free to give us a call whenever it makes sense. Thanks a lot. Bye.